The manager of A&B Prospecting in Prescott Valley, Pat McCormick, is an old friend of mine and an occasional prospecting buddy. Pat called me up and asked me to come in and do a specific gravity test on a golden quartz specimen piece that's in, the, that's in his shop. There's a few things that we need to do in, in getting ready to set up a, a, a specific gravity test and also a few tools that we need. Most of the time I would use a triple beam scale, but not a lot of people have those anymore. So we can use an electronic scale. Electronic scale, absolute must. Something to go across that to create your bridge that goes down into your water source. A string, and you always pre-wet your string before you do any testing. This is for suspending your nugget or your golden quartz specimen piece. So I'm gonna set that there. And you need water. Now, distilled water is absolutely what you should always use to do a specific gravity test. Distilled water, free of all mineralization. Take me a couple of minutes to get this set back up and we'll be ready to go. All right, to do the test, we have to have two measurements of the golden quartz specimen piece. One is completely dry and then the other one will be submerged in water. Again, distilled water. So right off the bat, we are going to get our dry weight. And this is all done in grams. You don't do anything in grains, you don't do anything in ounces, it's all done in grams. So you're going to place your golden quartz specimen piece on there. And jot those down. This is 1574.5. And I'm going to take my scale and suspend it out on a piece of wood. And I pre-measured a string. Now this string is still wet and it's going to sit over my scale. And then I'm going to take my other string that I've still also pre-wetted. And this is going to be my carrier for my piece of gold. Okay, so that's going to work. And I'm going to take that before I do anything. I'm going to put that on the scale because this is precise. You've got to be precise in all of your, in all of your weights. And I'm going to zero this back out. Okay, so I've got everything suspended. I know exactly what my weights are. I'm going to place my nugget over that. And that's not going to work because it went all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to lift this up. Now at this point, I can't shorten strings. I can't do anything because I've already, all of my weights, I have all of my weights. I have everything already calculated. And now I can adjust this to lower this slowly back into the water to where it's completely submerged. And I have a stable wet weight or suspended weight of 1045.2. point two. And that's my wet weight or submerged weight. Okay, that's it. That's all there is to doing the actual testing. We know we have our standards. We know what everything is. This is ready to release. And the rest of it is just math. Whenever I'm doing a, a specific gravity test, I always do a very quick test first. And that gives me an idea on what, it, if it's even worth going on. Now, in this, in this case, absolutely worth it because you can see all the gold, but it's a very simple formula to do. I'm going to take my dry weight, which in this case was 1,574.5 grams and my submerged weight, which was 1,045.2 grams. All right, now take these two numbers and th there's a multiplier that's used. I'm not gonna get into the math of all of that. Just know that this works and it gives you a rough estimate. It's not the finite, but it's a rough estimate. So on my dry weight, I'm gonna multiply that by 1.9 and on my submerged weight, I'm gonna multiply it by 3.1. So on my dry weight, and we already did this while we were at the, uh, while we were over at the shop, my multiplier came out to 29.91, whoops, 0.55. And my multiplier on the submerged weight 
that 3.1 came out to 3240.12. Now, I simply subtract those two numbers. And what that came out to was 248.52 grams of gold. 248.52 grams of gold. Now, if you want to take that down to ounces, you simply divide that by 31.103, and that'll give you the total weight in, in ounces. So to do that, I need the calculator. So 248.52 divided by 31.103 equals 7.99 ounces of gold. That's ounces, okay? That's enough to start working on the next formula to get a finite, and I'll show you how to do that one now. All right, this, this process is We'll, we'll get you very, very finite, and you're gonna see very, very quickly that we lost some gold weight by doing the proper specific gravity test. Now, I'll walk you through all the steps on this one. We're going to take our dry weight, and we're going to take our, sub, our submerged weight, and we're gonna minus that. And that comes out to 529.3. So, our next step from that is to take our dry weight of 1574.5, and divide that by this number, our multiplied, or I'm, I'm sorry, a subtracted difference, which was 529.3, which comes out to 2.97468354. Now, I hope at this point you're actually using a calculator because all of these numbers mean something in the long run. If you haven't used the calculator up to this point, you're probably missing a lot of these. Get the calculator out. So what this tells us, this 2.9746, yada, yada, that is our specific gravity of the piece that we have. Now, I'm going to take the specific gravity of 2.97 across there, and then I'm going to minus that by 2.63. 2.63 is the average specific gravity of quartz. Quartz, again, 2.60 to 2.65. So we use an average of 2.63, and that's an acceptable average all the way across the board. So we minus that, subtract that, and we end up with 0.3446835. Now, you're going to multiply that by the difference of the wet and dry weight. So that multiplied by 529.3 comes up to 182.440998. We're going to take that number, we're going to come over here, and this is where a mathematical constant comes into play. And I, I'm not going to get into constants. If, if, you, if you don't understand mathematical constants, just read up on them. But we have a mathematical constant that was set years ago at 25.97. So we're going to divide our 182.440998 by 25.97. And that what we end up with is 7.02506. 730. That's seven, a little bit over, seven ounces of gold. Now to check that, we're going to multiply that by 31.103, which is our grams. And our answer is 218.500668 grams of gold. Then you can do the math and convert that right back to ounces if you'd like to. But this is the proper way that I use and a lot of us use in the industry to find the exact specific weight of, of, of a piece of gold and quartz specimen. So this is the formula. I'll make sure that I have the formula. You know what, I think I'll do an article on this in the Gold Prospectors magazine, and then I'll make sure that the formula is inclu included so you'll be able to just take it, drop in your numbers, and be able to find the specific gravity of any piece. So that beautiful piece that we had, that I did the test on, came out to a true specific gravity test of a little bit over seven ounces of gold.
I hope this helped you. I hope you learned something from this, and I and I hope this makes your prospecting and your and, and anything that you're doing your recovery even simpler. If you like this video, please like, comment, share it, and more importantly, please subscribe to the Gold Trails TV YouTube channel.